ocean has many habitats. Along the coast, there is a littoral zone, which is the coast of an ocean, or a river, lake, or even estuary. The littoral zone extends from the high water mark, which is rarely submerged, to shoreline areas that are permanently submerged. Within the littoral zone, there is the intertidal zone. Within this unit, you will be investigating the creatures of intertidal zones and how they have adapted to the conditions that they live in. Intertidal zones, also known as foreshores, are the areas that are exposed to the air at low tide and submerged in water at high tide. It is the area where water meets land. The zone can include many different types of habitats, such as steep rocky cliffs, sandy beaches, and mud flats. Organisms in the intertidal zone are adapted to an environment of harsh extremes. Extreme fluctuations in moisture level, heat, salinity, and sunlight make it a habitat suitable for only a few species. Organisms in the intertidal zone include seaweeds, crabs, barnacles, sea cucumber, sea stars, sea urchins, snails, and mussels. The zone is mostly submerged and only exposed at the point of low tide. The organisms in the zone are often not well adapted to periods of dryness and temperature extremes. The intertidal zone is shallow enough to allow photosynthetic activity and is protected from large predators such as fish due to wave action and shallow waters. Many intertidal zones change with time. This is in part due to the current change in temperatures. Also, people have a dramatic impact on intertidal zones. People collect or steal organisms, and they also walk on and destroy intertidal zones. It is illegal to remove organisms from their habitat, and this law needs to be better enforced. Intertidal zones have an important use in ecology as they model the effects of competition and adaptation. Intertidal zones are greatly affected by erosion, which occurs naturally by waves. The great diversity of organisms in the intertidal zone is the result of more than 3.5 billion years of evolution that has filled every available niche with life forms. To summarize, conditions change dramatically within the intertidal zone going from occasionally wet to usually submerged in a matter of a few feet. Thus, the intertidal zone contains great diversity and will always be a fascinating area of study for scientists of all ages. <laughs>